So the Chuff introduction project is one of the flagship um, species introduction projects that we're doing within Kent Wildlife Trust, part of our Wilder Kent 2030 vision. And it's a really exciting one for us because despite all the doom and gloom around nature and despite the fact that nature is really struggling at the moment, we're demonstrating that there is still room for recovery and for returning missing species into our landscapes, which is achieved through good solid habitat work in the first instance and then recognising which species would have been here, belong here again and the role that they fulfil within those ecosystems. So this has been one of our flagship um, species pieces in our partnership with, with our partners at Wildwood. The KWT part of the project is very much about getting the land management right in that area. So this is predicated, the ability to release these birds is predicated on 40 years of chalk grass and restoration throughout the East Kent area that's been done by Kent Wildlife Trust, White Cliffs Countryside Partnership, National Trust and others. But it's getting the habitat right, it's returning conservation grazing that's creating the space, the habitat and the place for these birds to come back into a landscape they would have been in 300 years ago. Shoregrass and habitat is one of our internationally important habitats in the UK. In and around Dover we have about 2% of the world's um, chalk grassland just in that area. It is, it's been likened to the UK equivalent to tropical rainforest, up to 30, 40 species per square metre in grazed chalk grassland habitat. But it's the grazing that is important for the chuff. They feed with their long red bill, they dip down, they feed for invertebrates in the soil in an animal dung. And so introducing conservation grazing creates the perfect conditions for these birds to, to thrive. So the project goes back a long way before 2023 in terms of the feasibility and the science work that sat behind this. It's been talked about for, for several decades. We formed the partnership that has allowed us to start doing this introduction work properly with a, a lot of science, a lot of hard work and a lot of expertise behind it. And that's included the breeding of cohorts of birds at Wildwood and at Paradise Park down in Hale in Cornwall, who've been involved with the Cornish Chuff project and introducing those fledged birds into a, a reintroduction aviary, release aviary um, near Dover, which has been able to allow the birds to gradually progress in and out of that aviary, get to know the landscape and begin to re-establish themselves in that, um, in that space. So Ken Wildlife Trust has been pivotal in doing the landowner engagement, in doing the habitat management, and in, in drawing the funds in to actually help deliver this project alongside Wildwood. So we're already seeing some real successes. We're seeing free-flying birds forming flocks that are moving around that part of Kent that are using Dover Castle, are being seen on the cliff tops, are being seen as far as Folkestone. So we know they're in the landscape, we know they're getting to know that landscape, but we are going to need more of those releases. This is year-on-year -year incremental releases of cohorts of birds to reach a critical mass at which they can effectively form a wild population. So we're two, three years into those reintroductions, we've got another four or five years of that to go, at which point we'll have some sense of what that success looks like. <laughs>